Hey guys, welcome back. I didn't, the bob is bobbing today. For a while I was like curling my bob. But now I'm kind of liking just like, anyway. Oh my God, shut up, who cares? Um, I need to run to Target because I'm out of iced tea. And I've got, oh, got a full one here. But it is not hidden. I know I'm gonna need a second. Got my new purse, who I keep getting compliments on. Men and women alike commenting on this purse. That's how you know it's good. Transcends gender and style. Okay, so I'm gonna get me iced tea. Ted wants a juice. This is what he said. He says he wants a morning juice. What's this? Oh, it's a squirrel. My God. Okay. Thought it was my cat. Um, he wants a morning juice. And I quote, a morning juice that is refreshing and not too pulpy or tart. Coming right up. You freak. Okay, I'm back. I got Ted's morning juice. I haven't had V8 Splash since a child, but I'm out of breath from carrying all the bags. There's two bags. Morning juice, refreshing, not too tart, not pulpy. If you ain't describing V8 Splash, I don't know. It's like you're not slick. Um, okay, so then what did I get? Because obviously I needed 50 million things. I got some panty liners. Self explanatory. Um, these were in the $5 bins, you know, that usually has junk in it, but sometimes you'll see something good. And these are just little plastic drawers that I'm, I, for my makeup table. I am, um, all my lip products are in just like a little makeup bag. And this would be more accessible. So I grabbed that, I got some deodorant. Cause I was almost out. I'm got, I, I never really, I don't have like one specific deodorant I always use. There's like wizard hair on the lens. But um, got the clinical. Cause it's, it's hot out, I need the big guns. Got these strawberries because this big thing was five dollars and they looked good like they looked like they'll be good for the next three days you know what i mean of course need to top it off and then i got heavy whipping cream because i'm gonna make strawberries and cream that's what i was craving uh, what why are you over here just whining what do you want a whiner anyway I'm gonna top off top up my iced tea I can't even I need caffeine so bad okay I'm gonna excuse my washer it's doing it's like big spin right now oh my god okay I just spilled V8 splash I'm gonna this is literally filled to the tippy top I'm gonna give Ted's. Oh no! This glass is broken. I'm so upset! Ugh. Take two. I'm gonna test out Ted's morning juice. mango peach oh that's good that's good okay let's see if he likes that i'm not doing well i got my period yesterday if it wasn't obvious and i'm tired i'm sweating i'm angry i'm sad okay so here's like my current lip situation this is like kind of where i have 
everything else in these like little drawers. This is just like concealer, bronzers, blushes, maybe. This is like eye and brows. But it didn't have any room for lips. It's all kind of a mess right now. This is stuff I'm going like in the process of testing out. Um, this is just crazy. So I feel like, yeah, I could do something here. Okay, so I'm gonna do this while we catch up. There's a lot to talk about. So we may have found a place and I don't wanna get too excited yet because we haven't signed the lease yet. We've gotten the lease and we're in the process of like negotiating a few things with the owner. And so I don't, I need to turn the fan on, that's freaking hot. We need to um, get that all squared away because like if they don't agree to the things, we need to walk away. One of the main things, I mean, it's mostly a good lease, but um, it's a back house. It's actually like there's two other houses on the lot. And um, so there's one water meter and it's kind of just like split among us. And so the flat rate that they want to charge us for the water is truly astronomical for two people and with a small yard because currently it's literally double what we pay now and we have a huge backyard and a huge front yard both on irrigation on regular irrigation so i'm kind of like do you think i'm an idiot <laughs> i'm hoping that they just thought we were idiots or maybe just that like they're just kind of not really going over the bill and just kind of charging whatever but um, we're just kind of talking to the leasing agent and hoping that there's a little room on that. Um, other than that, if they agree to it, I really like this place. I'm excited about it. But we're definitely not going to pay what they're asking because it just kind of defeats the purpose of downsizing and paying less money. I mean, it would still be less money, but it just... <sighs> It's just never ending is it it's never ending but anyway this place i do hope it works out because this is like the first place we've seen that we like really liked like we immediately walked in and we were both like okay let's apply it is a downsize and that's hard but like obviously we were prepared for that that's what we knew we were doing but it's hard because we're losing a third bedroom and we're losing a garage so we're just gonna have to get rid of a lot of stuff and we're gonna have to come up with like some new solutions to for me to like store like all my beauty products my perfume which is like fine it's like i can put up shelves we can get like cute little consoles and things like that um but you know where do i put the treadmill where do we put like the christmas tree where do we put you know the camping gear like we're just gonna have to be a little creative but it's like look if i existed eight years ago in a studio apartment then I can do this um, but it's just hard you know it's hard to go back easy to go forward hard to go back not that I'm going back you know what I mean it's hard to downsize but anyway we're excited to downsize in a lot of ways um, this place is brand new as in we would be the first people living there um, which is like really exciting especially coming from like a really old house which you know old houses just are near and dear to my heart if we were gonna buy a house it would most likely be an old house like that's like really our style um an old house that's been like updated but kept the original charm this is like a brand new brand spanking new but it is not ugly like it is cute but it is a whole different vibe it is really nice it feels like vacation like it's so bright and airy it's got really high ceilings um, you know, the main bedroom is big, which is like in our opinion or in our experience, especially with the old houses, bedrooms are so small. So this would be great. It's got a private yard. It's a lot less than we have now, but I'm like excited for that because this has become like so much to take care of. And there's so many like bugs and spiders. And this is just a cute patch of brand new grass, you know, and it's private and oh my god is it walkable so it's not far from where we live now so we're really familiar with the neighborhood it's one of our favorite neighborhoods 
but it is so walkable. I can walk to restaurants like that we love. We can walk to Trader Joe's. We can walk to the library. Like I'm so excited in terms of that. This is actually a neighborhood that we've like driven through and been like, oh, I wish we lived here. So that would all kind of be a dream. We're just gonna have to see. We would be paying almost a thousand dollars less than we're paying now in rent and then a lot less in utilities if they can agree to paying less in water because it's a newer house and instead of central air it's it's those split air conditioning units and they have one in every room that would just be great because then it's like you know at night when i have to like turn the air down cold because i have to sleep with it cold it's like we wouldn't be cooling off a whole big house we could just turn it on in the bedroom you know stuff like that is just kind of a dream and then because it's brand new it's like so well insulated and it's got brand new windows and all of that um the shower i was like feeling so bummed about like leaving our shower here because we just love our shower it's big and even though i don't have a bathtub and that was like hard for me four years ago when we moved in i've kind of gotten used to it and i don't really miss a bathtub anymore like it would be a great bonus but it's fine this one doesn't have a bathtub which is fine but the shower is better <laughs> it's twice the size and it's just like a spa and there's no grout so it'll just be a dream to clean um yeah so i hope it works out but we'll see i just want to be done like the most appealing thing to me is just like I don't want to be searching anymore. I want to put in our 30 days. I'm having trouble leaving this house. I've had some cries because, you know, I get really attached to places I live. And so in the past, like leaving, you know, my apartments, it's been like nostalgic and like sad and bittersweet. But this is like hard. Like this has been our home. This was like a real home. I feel attached to this one like I was attached to my childhood home. Like this was my house so it's definitely hard to leave especially when like in the past moving here felt so good because like ted and i were moving in together for the first time we were getting a house after living in like small apartments like i went from like my studio apartment and then to my like tiny one bedroom and then to this like house with a yard and it was like in the middle of covid and just it was so exciting i don't have that feeling this time because it's it's a lateral move it's a little bit of a downsize like it's not it doesn't have all that kind of excitement that this one did and i'm sad to leave it i don't want to leave this place but i do want something different we need something different and we need to pay less so all those things considered like this is going to be a great place to live um if they know what's good for them <laughs> Anyway, and this has just been like a really different experience than when we were looking for a house in the middle of COVID. Like it was a fucking shit show. Whereas this one, we applied, they accepted, you know, it's just been like easier, but it's still just a matter of finding places you like. I mean, we've seen places, some of them have been fine, but none have been like exciting to us except for this one. So I just don't want to have to keep doing this and keep searching. Um, but you know, if we have to, we will. We still technically have to the end of September, but I'm just burnt out on it already. I'm sad to leave my girly pop room, but I'll have a girly pop room again in the future. This was more just a bonus. You know, when we got this place, it was a bonus. So now Ted and I will likely have to share a bit of his office, um, but that's okay. I keep refreshing my email to see if they emailed back because I, I sent over our list of demands and I'm just waiting. I found this Glossier Gen G Cranberry. Never wore it until the other day. Look at this. I thought it was going to be more full on. I know these are sheer, but it just looks like a color I didn't want until I put it on. Are you freaking kidding? New fave. New fave. I wanted to, I was looking for a crush 
is that what it is or jam one of those and i guess i got rid of them at some point because i don't have them anymore and i found this and i was like i guess i feel like it's like a combo of crush and jam and like similar to the one that i love fuzz it's just a little darker and not as sheer love here's the lippies you know just the ones i reach for more and looks great looks better and um still been refreshing my phone still haven't heard a thing so trying to stay posy and just like whatever happens happens i'm super chill i'm super chill la, 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 la. anything oh she replied oh my god okay guys it's the next day because we spent the rest of the day literally going back and forth with them and like kind of negotiating and things went in our favor for the most part they agreed to let us have um the only thing that we did ask for that they didn't budge on was we wanted them to do something different to the closets because like it's such like it's one of those like modern houses that like the closets are just this kind of like recessed open area and we were like can you put like doors and shit on it and they were basically like no so that was annoying but not a huge thing for us to do and now i get to customize it to what i want it to be so we signed the lease it's a fish we are moving on september 7th I'm trying to, you can't see that I, my foot is up. Anyway, what we're doing today is one of the houses we looked at had the current tenant or the previous tenant had grown passion fruit for like the last four years and it grew along the front fence. And when we went there, I was shocked at how many passion fruits there were. Hundreds, hundreds. They weren't ripe, but she did let me take like two that were almost ripe. And I ate one already, and I still have one left, but it's a teeny tiny one. And you guys, if you don't know, it's one of my favorite fruits. And they're hard to come by. They, Although they do grow really well here in LA, so you can find them at like farmer's markets and stuff, but they're expensive. I have my own, but it's a young plant and it produces maybe like three or four fruits a year. Um, and it actually didn't do too well. Around the wedding, I kind of neglected it, so it kind of died back, but it's coming back and it's doing great. But again, I I'm not seeing any fruits right now. So Ted and I are gonna go on a heist, a passion fruit heist, because it's literally, it grows along the fence, like on the sidewalk. We're just gonna shimmy on over there and grab um, some passion fruits. <laughs> I've been talking about this for weeks. Like when we left the place, we're like, okay, not right for us. However, we will be going back for those passion fruits. So grabbing a little tote and um, hopefully like the landlord hasn't like gone crazy and like cut the whole thing down because that would just be an absolute tragedy. I even told the tenant, I was like, cut it back, take it to your new place, but they weren't gonna do that. So, I had to take matters in my own hands, frankly. So, we're gonna go do that. A little passion fruit heist. Are you ready? My accomplice? Is my accomplice ready? Ready. Would you like your identity um, withheld? Yes. For the purposes of this, yes. And can you I, lower my voice? I will. I will. Yes, I will. Can you lower my voice and blur my face. Yes. So I, this I is this is my accomplice. However, you won't um, you won't be able to know who they are. Yes, that's right. All right. Let's go. Down. Oh. Well, I'm going to blur those, not for like anonymity reasons, but just because like we're not showing that for free. Right. 
Okay, let's go to... Husband. Husband. Oh, shit. Come on. All right. Here's the thing. I don't think anyone's been at this property since. And so it's it's kind of it's it's looking a little dehydrated and and my the fruit isn't looking super plump or ripe and I think it's because it hasn't been being watered but I am taking some and hopefully they will ripen on my counter but a car did just pull up and I am actually terrified that it is a neighbor and I'm gonna be arrested by the fruit police. Fruit police. <laughs> Oh, here, but it's like kind of. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ar it? Arrest you? What are you gonna do with all of it? No one, you're not watering it. You're certainly not taking care of it. Not before I fucking. Let's see your bounty. Eat all these. Oh my goodness. Most of them are not ripe. This one is. Okay. But when I took them before, they weren't super ripe. And they ripened on the counter, no problem. So they're not like super big, luscious ones because of the them not being watered. But you better fucking believe I'll be eating like a king. Scissors? Oh, well, it's just what's right here. Mm. Babe. What? Oh. Just forget it. You're crazy for not liking these. They just creep me out. Mmm. It's like a dinosaur egg. It's so good. Want to try? Nope. What if you like it this time? No, it's okay. Ew! Mm. I'm running away. Mm. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's official. We hired the movers. It's happening. I'm getting this vlog now, though, because I have precisely a million things to do which is why this these vlogs have been like a day late every single week and will probably continue to be for the next few weeks because we're freaking moving gosh darn it um but until next week i'm sure there'll be a lot of stuff to unpack no pun intended thanks for watching